Greetings. This is Bradford Donald Keller Townsend, and this is a forward research report, and uh, I'd like to do it on technically recoverable resources, particularly shale, uh, crude oil, and natural gas. Uh, this is an older article, uh, I think from 2013, and uh, it cites its main source as the Energy Information Administration, that's a United States agency. Technically speaking, 10% of the world crude, 32% of natural gas are sitting in shale. Technically recoverable resources, three words that refer to the amount of crude oil and natural gas that can be extracted from the ground using today's technologies. No future innovations needed. I'll just say that again. No future innovations needed. So back in 19, uh, I mean 2013, I'm an old fart, uh, uh, used to those 1900s. Um, this means uh, there's been, I've heard, uh, major breakthroughs in the last five years and advances in the technology, but so going back five, six years ago, the magnitude of this value with respect to shale gas formations was the focus of a major report released last week by the United States Energy Information Administration. This report revealed that their latest assessment of total technologically recoverable, in quotes, oil and gas resources found in 137 shale formations across 41 countries. So it's a, a global assessment. According to their estimate, about 10% of the world's technically recoverable crude oil, 32% of natural gas, currently lies in shale formations. And uh, I'll blow that up, hopefully. This is the uh, map. As you see, Russia has a big patch of red. Uh, Poland here is interested, even a little bit in Germany, northern France, southern France, the United States, uh, the Alberta corridor there where they're doing um, tar sands, uh, Brazil, Argentina, South Africa, Australia, uh, southeastern China, a good uh, quarter of the country plus here and here so it looks like there's a lot of potential in shale around the world um, this report is following up the EIA's I don't like acronyms that's Energy Information Administration's 2000 analysis so it's quite dated which looked at a smaller sample 69 shale formations within 32 countries and only focused on natural gas today the only United States and Canada produce shale, oil, and gas in significant quantities. I didn't read that well. Today, only the United States and Canada produce shale, oil, and gas in significant quantities. But other nations are currently investigating their own produ production potential, including Australia, China, England, Mexico, and Russia. According to the Energy Information Administration, Poland has already drilled 43 test wells on prospective shale production sites. All told, more than half of the oil resources identified in the Energy Information Administration's report are found in four countries, Russia, China, Argentina, and Libya. It is a similar story for natural gas with China, Argentina, Algeria, Canada, and Mexico topping the list. The United States sits in the top five on both lists. I'm going to blow this up for you. This is uh, two tables. The one on the left, top ten countries with technologically recoverable shale reserves. Russia, United States, China, Argentina, Libya, Australia, Venezuela, Mexico, Pakistan, and Canada. Top 10 countries with technologically recoverable shale natural gas reserves. 
This is in trillion cubic feet. So this would be a quadrillion. <laughs> I think a thousand trillions is a quadrillion, but I'm not sure. Someone can uh, comment on that. Um, I stand to be corrected. I won't get angry as long as it's a factual correction. <laughs> uh, I don't like ad, ad hominem attacks. Um, I have a little bit of a speech impediment, and I'm dyslexic, so that's that. But I still get in there and have the courage to try. Uh, rank number two, Argent Argentina. That's uh, 802 trillion. Algeria, number four. Um, and then it has a parenthesis. Um, that's a one quadrillion. <laughs> uh, Canada, Mexico, Australia, Sudan, Africa, Russia, and Brazil. I've had friends and family live in almost every one of those countries. Notably missing in this discussion is an analysis of economically recoverable resources as well as assessments of many of the world's prospective shale formations including several sites across the Middle East. And, with a comma, starting a sentence with an and, it should be clarified that the report's goal is not to say whether or not these resources should be developed. Just what could be developed. Regardless, this report signifies a step forward in understanding the potential future role of shale in the world's energy landscape. And that was by Lisa C. Lott. Let's give her credit. She is an engineer and researcher at the intersection of energy and public health. I thought this was a good addition to a couple of my other um, videos, uh, and it was a short article, so I thought I would just uh, post this. Adieu, ciao, aloha.